This is a call from an offender at a Louisiana Department of Corrections facility. What, baby? All parents deal with children who are not what they imagine. My parents really didn't want to have a gay son. I wanted to see how other families managed it. That I don't want to know just about families of gay people. I wanted to look as widely as I could. By July, we knew he had autism. And I just assumed that he was impaired. You have to sit in your chair. I'm dangerous. It was overwhelming. I didn't want it. He was shackled in a prison strike. You know as soon as you see him, the worst has happened, and it is not going to be OK. You go back to when they were in the cradle, and you wonder if you let them cry too long. I don't have an easy answer. A mother can't just stop loving a child. Personally, I'm very against the idea that someone is researching to find a cure for my type of dwarfism the same message our whole lives. There's something wrong with you and we need to fix it. I don't think I need to be fixed. We did allergy testing. Music therapy. So a naturopath, chiropractor. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Speech therapy. We thought that he should talk. We talk. So he needs to learn how to talk. He started spelling letters with the stencils. <laughs> Typed out, I am trying, and I am really smart. It was like I was meeting him for the first time. In some ways, I wrote the book to forgive my parents. And in telling these stories, I was investigating the very nature of family itself.